My name is Steve Shinella. I'm a managing partner here of the New Jersey practice of Cone Resnick. So Cone Resnick is, I'll call it, you know, a business advisor. Uh, we do accounting, advisory, and tax. So our firm uh, is a national firm. So anything a business would have to face or a company would have to face, we deal with, you know, whether they have to do tax compliance or audits for financing, uh, or even looking to acquire a company or sell a company. Uh, unfortunately, in these trying times, even if they have to go bankrupt. So we help companies throughout the process. So yeah, we, we're there for our clients and you know, no matter what happens, the good times and bad times, yeah, we're able to help a company and its people. My career path was, as far as accounting goes, probably pr pretty boring. I've had uh, a couple of jobs, but you know, I went to college for four years, graduated there, went to a firm, spent about 13 years there through the ranks in the audit profession, um, spent about 13 years there, then went to another firm as a partner um, and spent about 10 years there now, and now I'm a managing partner after being 10 years there. Now I'm fourth year being a managing partner. So, although that sounds boring, there was a lot of uh, things along the way, um, a lot of clients, a lot of different nuances I've dealt with. So it really, it's, it's a labor of love, something in industry I really enjoy, uh, something that, you know, if you really just enjoy doing something different and, and having the access to a lot of different ways to benefit companies and as well as develop people, it's a good career. I would say there's never a typical work day. Um, whenever you look at your calendar or I look at my calendar, you know, whatever I perceive is going to happen that day, there's usually at least an, uh, a few curveballs. So, um, but yeah, it, it, it comes from, you know, really working with people. You know, you do your typical meetings, you'll have some emails and phone calls, but it's really the, what excites me is those per those times when I get a phone call and saying, hey, let's do this. Let's go to this meeting. Let's uh, go to this event. You know, I've gone to sporting events and different events with clients, to discuss items. I've dealt with um, people dealing with, you know, acquiring a company. You get a phone call out of the blue saying, hey, can you help me with this? We're doing this equity raise, all different things. You know, I said, I, you know, 10 years out of college, I, I ended up going to a place where I was like, I was having lunch on Wall Street. You know, it, you know, and where they're doing all, you know, ringing the bell and everything. And I was like, boy, that's an incredible way. Like, if I took any other path, I probably wouldn't be there. So that's something that you don't wake up one day and say, oh, by the way, somebody's going to ask you to go to lunch, and, you know, um, at Wall Street. So it's all different nuances there. So, and that's what keeps it exciting. You know, it's something where, you know, you have, you think you're in your lane, but there's always something that's going to allow you to move over here and there. So that's what kept it fun for the past 25 years. What we do for a lot of uh, the students looking to have a career in either accounting or public accounting is we do leadership programs. We also have, you know, our firm particularly has an internship during the summer as well as in the winter. So I would encourage people just to take a look and look at our firm, you know, uh, look at other firms to see what their programs are. But across the board, the industry is really looking for young talent. Um, as we evolve and you know it keeps us young I'll say that I'm learning from the people coming in and they're learning from me so it really is a nice industry to be in and it's always growing um, you don't have to love accounting you don't have to love tax you don't have to be good at math I wasn't good at math and you know I've been doing it for 25 years but you just have to have really a drive to really enjoy what you're doing and if it's something that appeals to you that might be doing something different every day I like business and I like companies you know, you'd be surprised. You know, we're looking now at computer engineers, you know, uh, in regards to how we're going to do different technologies to, you know, audit larger and larger companies. You know, different things if you're into in certain industries like Bitcoin. Now we need the people to understand that. All the different nuances and, and styles in the industries that are developing. We need people that will understand it, have a, you know, a love for that industry because if you really love it, you're going to want to learn more about it. And that's why we want you on our ranks to really build up and and help us service those clients. I'd say if you're somebody that really just enjoys wanting to learn and, and really be focused and, and drive, you know, it's like I said, there's all different nuances and, you know, public accounting is made up of different things. So you might want to do one thing and then realize, eh, maybe this, I want to try something else. That industry allows you to do that, you know, whether it's marketing, like I said, technology, um, tax compliance, accounting, or just advisory, 
there's so many things that you can get involved in just looking at this career. So you get started, you take a look, you look at some firms, you see what you might enjoy, maybe talk to family members or friends that are already in the industry and see what appeals to you and, and take a look. You know, maybe there's an, you know, an elective course or something that you can do or just get involved in a leadership and try it out and, and see if you something you really enjoy it. But you, know, you want to love it because like anything else, if you really love it, that's what you're going to enjoy and, and you, you want to enjoy what you do. Thank you.